March Madness is officially upon us, and I am with Mark Campbell, head coach of Sacramento State women's basketball, who has led the Hornets to a historic season. Coach, first of all, tell me about this week. I love the videos seeing on uh, you and your team getting off the bus onto campus with the trophy first ever for the program. Describe the feelings that you and your team have, have felt throughout the last seven days. It's overwhelming. Um, the support, the love from the community, uh, from campus. Um, Monday night, the Sacramento Kings um, invited our team to the game and uh, honored our team at halftime. And so it was this whole week. It The only word I can use to describe it is overwhelming. Um, it's just been really, really special and neat and, and fun and um, at the same time, we're trying to stay focused on getting ready for the Bruins. Let's get right into it. So you head to Los Angeles this week. You've been to a number of NCAA tournament appearances, nine in total between your time as a player and a coach, five uh, with Oregon. What have you been telling your team as you prepare? It's to stay focused. And there's so many distractions in a good way. Um, all of them are really neat things that are going on around you, around our program. And we we got to stay in our, our normal weekly routine. We, we have to do our normal prep. We have to um, block out those distractions, everything from tickets to family coming to the games, uh, going to the Kings game. Like there's really neat stuff happening. But at the end of the day, uh, we got to make sure we're locked in and dialed in on UCLA. And um, that's my biggest advice is you want to enjoy this because it's magical, it's special, um, but you got to stay focused uh, on the task at hand. You've faced the Bruins a number of times in your career. What stands out to you about this program this season? First of all, um, Coach Corey's a dear friend and her staff, and, and they do an amazing job. Um, and they've built an incredible program there. And so we know it's, we, our hands are full. Um, and they're very talented. Um, they do a great job recruiting and they run a great system. And so, um, you, you like anything though, you gotta, you gotta figure out what gives us the best chance to win and, and how do we got to try to attack these guys? Um, and so our staff has done a tremendous job getting us prepared. Chavi, who was with me all seven years at Oregon is overseeing the scout. And so he knows UCLA really well. Um, and there's not many holes. There's a reason they're a four seed. Um, they've earned it and, uh, their body of work has been impressive and, um, but we're excited to go see what we can do. Regardless of what happens this weekend, how proud are you of this group? It's hard to put into words what this group has accomplished. It's something that's never been done here. Um, it's a group of nine players that have never played for us before this season. We, we returned, uh, Izzy and Jordan and KP. And then you added nine new pieces and, and to get those personalities to come together off the court and get that group to come together on the court. It's really hard to do in one season. And um, I think it's a testament to who these kids are. They're, they're a humble, selfless group. And as you've seen, they're also a group of warriors and fighters. And so um, it, it, I think we'll be able to reflect on it once the season's done. Um, but you just don't want this journey to end with this group, and and they don't want it to end. They truly love each other, and and they're fighting for each other. Coach, thank you so much for the time, and we wish you the best of luck in LA. Hey, thanks for having me, and it's great to see you.